Hello, everyone. Welcome to Watch English One, Unit 18. This is the last unit of the book. My name is Michelle Guo. 大家好，欢迎收看英文一的第十八讲最后一课喽。I'm very happy to have Dr. Barry Reynolds to finish off the book with us. 呃，欢迎雷贝利博士。Okay, it's great to、uh, be here. Hello, everyone. I'm I'm really happy to be here for the last lesson. I know. In the previous units, we have talked about how technology has changed our life and medicine. In this unit, we will going to continue the topic of health, but with a very different focus. Medical technology has improved our health and even prolongs our lives. Ten years ago, an average man's life expectancy was 75, but today life expectancy is over 81. So people actually live longer than they did many years ago. But Barry, do you think people nowadays are more concerned about their health? Um, well, I think this is a very hard question to answer.、Uh, the answer is mixed if we look at the trends in the indicators of how healthy the world is. We usually look at life expectancy and also mortality rates. These indicators show life expectancy is increasing globally, and we can interpret this as people Carry more about their health. However, poor lifestyle choices in developed countries and infectious diseases still lead to millions of deaths each year, especially in、uh, developing countries. I think that although we are getting healthier, there are, are still a lot of diseases that are affecting the health of world population, and that needs to be taken、uh, more seriously. Those really include the non-communicable diseases in the developed countries. I'm speaking of things like、uh, a heart disease and things like that. Ah,、uh, 雷博士有提到呢，现在因为科技的关系，我们呃、uh, 人类的人是越活越长了，那死亡率呢也一直都在下降，很多病呢其实都可以医治了。那感觉上好像现在呃， uh, 因为生命的延长，那是不是表示呢？我们越来越注注重健康了呢？是不是表示我们这整个世界的健康呢都有提升呢？那雷博士有提到，其实不见得哦，因为呃， uh, 虽然我们在一些可能开发中国家，呃、uh, ，大家比较有健康的意识，可是，在发展中的国家呢，就是健康还是一个很大的问题哦，就是可能还是有一些呃、uh, 疾病的传染。那现在一个国家的一个疾病都很有。有可能影响到我们全世界，会甚至造成百万人的呃死亡都有可能哦。For example, like the Ebola in Africa. Yeah, it got of it got kind of got out of control and needs you know needs to be treated more. But just like I also mentioned though, those kind of health, those kind of developed countries also have very serious problems too. I think both developed and developing countries need、uh, more. Uh, need more time and need more、uh, need more people to look into those. Yeah, that's right. 就是其实开发中国家呢，跟呃正在开发中的国家呢，其实应该要合作哦，要共同把呃就是一起造福大家的健康。Let's take a look at our first paragraph. Barry, would you please read、uh, the first paragraph for us? Sure, no problem at all. Food is an important aspect of every culture. It plays A key role on holidays and festivals. During the holiday season, food offers a way to celebrate with family and friends. Holidays bring joy and time for relaxation. In many cultures, festivity often revolves around food, so people are bound to indulge in preparing and eating food. In this paragraph,、uh, this paragraph talks about the importance of food in every culture and in、um, festivities. 我们先来看这一段的句子。Food is an important aspect of every culture. It plays a key role on holidays and festivals. 在各国的文化跟节庆当中呢，食物是很重要的一部分哦。它也扮演了相当重要的一个角色。Role 是名词，角色的意思。Play a key role 是扮演重要关键性的角色。Festival 名词，节庆，庆祝活动。During the holiday season, food offers a way to celebrate with family and friends. 过节的时候呢，食物让家人跟朋友们呢可以共同的庆祝
offer 动词提供 ，celebrate 也是动词庆祝的意思，它的名词是 celebration。Holidays bring joy. Holidays bring joy and time for relaxation. 节日呢，或是节庆会带来欢乐跟我们可以放松的时刻。Joy 是名词，喜悦。Helping others always bring joy to people. 那那个就是帮助别人呢，可以带来呃更大的喜悦。它 joy 的形容词呢是 joyful。Relaxation 是名词，放松、轻松。那它的动词呢是 relax。下一句 ，In many cultures, festivity often revolves around food, so people are bound to indulge in preparing and eating food. 在许多文化中呢，节庆通常围绕着食物哦，所以人们透过准备啊、呃、食物。跟享用呢食物的一个过程当中呢，可以更紧密的相连，而且呢，沉浸在喜悦当中。Let's take a look at the second paragraph, Barry, please. Okay, sure. Christmas and New Year are probably the most important holidays for Westerners. In Chinese culture, more and more people, especially the younger generations, are now celebrating Christmas, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day. They enjoy taking part in the final countdown and welcoming in the new year. However, for Chinese people, the most important celebration occurs during the Lunar New Year. The Chinese New Year holiday traditionally lasted 15 days until the Lantern Festival, but in modern times, the Chinese New Year involves at least five or six holidays from work to allow for celebrations. Whereas Western Christmas. Holidays typically feature traditional foods such as roast turkey, ham, mashed potatoes, pies, eggnog, and apple cider, rice cakes, whole fish, whole chicken, carrots, dumpling, and oranges are the prominent foods in the Chinese Lunar New Year. 好，这段讲到西方呢，跟东方的重要的节庆。那西方是 Christmas， 那我们东方呢，对我们中国来说，就是 Chinese Lunar New Year。那中国的农农历新年，我们来看看这一段在讲些什么。Christmas and New Year are probably the most important holidays for Westerners。对西方人来说呢，圣诞节或新年。或许是节日中，呃，对他们来说是最重要的日子。那 Western Westerners 是西方人 ，Western 是形容词，西方的。Chinese culture more and more, ah,、uh, in Chinese culture more and more people, especially the younger generations, are now celebrating Christmas, New Year Eve, and New Year's Day. 在中国文化里面，也有越来越多，特别是比较年轻的世代呢，也开始庆祝圣诞节、除夕夜以及元旦。嗯，呃，刚刚讲过，呃、uh, ，celebrating， 呃、uh, ，是庆祝的意思。New Year Eve 指的就是除夕夜 ，New Year Day 就是新年。那前面提到的 generation 是指世代 ，younger generation 呢，就是比较年轻的世代。They enjoy taking part in the final countdown and welcoming in the new year. 他们在一年的最后一天呢，啊，可能常常会参加，就是呃呃，要过新年之前的一个是倒数，倒数计时，然后呢，迎接新一年的到来。However, for Chinese people, the most important celebration occurs during the Lunar New Year. 呃，最重要的是呢。就对华人来说呢，是庆祝农历新年。那刚刚有讲过 ，Chinese Lunar New Year 是农历新年。那 Lunar 它是月亮的意思。那因为农历呢是根据呃月亮呢呃的一个周期呃所制呃计算出来的年历，所以就是呃农历新年。Occur 只是呃发生在什么时候的意思。The Chinese New Year holiday traditionally lasted 15 days until the Lantern Festival. 中国新年的节日呢，传统上是有十五天左右，一直庆祝到元宵节。那啊、uh, ，Lantern Festival 是元宵节。Lantern 呢，就是啊、uh, 元宵节我们会有花灯。那 Lantern 呢，就是灯笼或是花灯这个意思。
But in modern times, the Chinese New Year involves at least five or six holidays from work to allow for celebrations. 可是到了现在呢，就是已经没有这么好了。新年农历新年没有办法放十五天假哦。那但是呢，还是会有大约五到六天的假期呢，可以不用工作，可以用来庆祝新年。Whereas Western Christmas holidays typically feature traditional foods such as roast turkey, ham, mashed potatoes, pies, eggnog, and apple cider, 我们这一段比较长，我们分开来看哦。当西方国家的圣诞节的庆祝呢，通常传统上面的主食会有哪些呢？会以什么为主？呃、uh, ，feature 就是以什么为主或扮演什么角色的意思。主要的主食有 roast turkey 烤火鸡，呃、uh, ，ham 是呃、uh, 火腿 ，mashed potatoes 马铃薯泥 ，pie 当然就是英文字这个直接音译翻过来的就是呃、uh, 甜派 ，eggnog 是蛋酒，那 apple cider 就是呃、uh, 苹果汁，都是非常传统的圣诞节的食物。那刚刚讲的是西方的圣诞节，那相反的，我们来看农历新年是吃些什么东西呢 ？Rice cakes, whole fish, whole chicken, carrots, dumplings, and oranges are prominent foods in Chinese Lunar New Year. 中国新年的主要的主食呢，会有年糕，就是 rice cakes， whole fish， whole chicken， 全鱼、全鸡。呃、uh, ，carrots 有呃、uh, 萝卜。Dumplings 是指水饺 ，and oranges 当然是橘子呢，都是呃主要中国新年呃会用来庆祝的主要的食物。Now let's continue with the third paragraph. 我们请看啊第三段。Okay, sure. Without food, holiday celebrations would not be the same. But most people tend to overeat during the holidays. Many people pack on extra pounds or kilograms during their holiday revels. This excessive holiday eating often results in weight gains. 嗯，就是过呃过年庆祝啊，或是过节庆祝，我都会吃很多东西，然后体重就会上升哦。Weight gains. 我们来看这一段。Without food, the holiday celebrations would not be the same. 如果是没有食物呢，节庆呃的。呃，庆祝呢就会变得大不相同了哦。But most people tend to overeat during the holidays. 但是大多数的人呢都会在节日的时候呃过度的饮食。Overeat 就是吃太多的意思。Tend to 是有倾向去做什么事情的意思。Many people pack on extra pounds or kilograms during their holiday revels. 许多人在节庆狂欢庆祝的时候呢。不免呢，就多增加了几磅或者是几公斤。那 kilograms 是公斤。Holiday revels 是指节日的庆呃欢庆。Pack on 啊、呃、，pack 在这边是当动词，它也可以当名词。Pack 当名词呢，它有包装或是呃装入的意思。譬如说 pack 啊、呃，刚刚讲 pack on extra pounds 多多增加，就是多加了几磅。那我们如果讲一包香烟 ，a pack of cigarettes， 啊、uh, ，或者是讲我们常常有时候买饮料，它有时候是六罐装，就是 a six pack of， 譬如说可乐 ，six pack of coke， 啊、uh, ，六罐装的可乐，或者是 a twelve pack of beers， 呃、uh, ，来一打那个啤酒，就是 twelve， 呃，呃 ，twelve pack of beers。好，我们接下来看下一句 ，this。Excessive holiday eating often results in weight gains. 那这个节日呢，大量饮食呢，会导致体重的增加。Excessive 是形容词，过度、过量的意思。那我们后面也可以配别的词语，呃，譬如说 excessive drinking 就是过度的饮酒。Excessive anger 就是有非常多的怒气。We have talked about food associated with festivals or holidays. Barry, do you think food is as important as holiday celebrations?、Uh, yes, I think so because our smell and our taste it's locked to our memory. So,、uh, eating certain foods will remind us of memories from our past and、uh, and from our childhood. You know. Uh, so I think these will become common for certain holidays. That's why some certain foods are often 
uh, eaten in certain holidays. And we'll look forward to those dishes because we will look forward to those feelings and those memories that are associated with those holidays. So, you know, I always have a, a question about, uh, uh, about, I'm always wondering, you mentioned earlier about the, the dishes in Chinese New Year. So uh, that reminded me of memories or something. How about fish? Why do you, I know that I'm always told why you need to have fish, but I always forget. Can you tell me? Right. Um, a lot of uh, dishes that uh, we provide uh, during the Chinese New Year's actually have uh, symbolic meanings. For example, fish. Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, not just fish. We need to have a whole fish. Uh, just like when I mentioned mm. chicken, it has to be whole chicken. Mm -hmm. Now, for whole fish in Chinese, it's nian nian you yu. Mm -hmm. That means we always have food left over. Oh. So, so it's a symbolic meaning when you um, eat the whole, have the whole fish. Right. We always have extra food or extra wealth. Mm -hmm. So that means prosperity, mm -hmm. that oh. we always have more than, mm -hmm. um, than what we need. You also mentioned dumplings as well. So is that an, does that also carry some, uh, some meaning? Is it a symbol of something as well? Right. That's a good one. Because of the shape of dumpling, it looks like uh, in old times, yuan bao. Oh, oh, like so, a money. Right. So oh, okay. it means money and wealth. Of course, the more the better. Oh, okay. So you have to eat more dumplings during the Chinese Lunar New Year. Oh, okay. And my friend um, also gave me, like, a, she had made a little, um, it, w it was a pineapple, and she gave it to me, and she said it means luck or something like that because of the sound or so of the, but I looked up the sound of, the, of pineapple in in Chinese, I couldn't find any meaning for luck. Could, did I misunderstand her? Or that's right. Uh, pineapple, feng li. If it's Chinese and Chinese, you can't understand what it means. You have to use We have to explain it. Uh, we have to say in Taiwanese, ong lai. Uh -huh. uh, ong means uh, wang. Oh. Prosperity it means good luck. Oh, so that's why. Okay. So your friend is actually wishing you good luck. Oh, okay. And the the other thing you mentioned was about about rice cakes as well. Can you can you remind that? I I I've been told this, and I'm told this every year when I join somebody for Chinese New Year, but I always forget. So how about the rice cake? What is the? It also has a sound symbolism, or is it just some some other reason? Oh, it has a sound symbolism. Okay. Nian gao, rice cake. Nian gao. Mm -hmm. Gao means tall or high. Mm -hmm. So that means uh, wishing you or um, perhaps moving to a higher position. Mm -hmm. um, so you will probably have a better job. Bu bu gao shen. Mm -hmm. uh, that means you'll be promoted mm -hmm. uh, or have a better job. Okay. Are you interested in anything about maybe the foods I eat? Sure. Uh, in the text, it's mentioned that during Christmas, uh, people usually eat turkey, ham, mm -hmm. eggnog, um, apple cider. Yeah. Are those the kind of foods that you eat? Pretty much all the things that mentioned was pretty much the same, especially um, though the one thing that wasn't mentioned was stuffing that goes in the turkey or maybe if we eat it outside of the turkey it's just called dressing for the turkey and that's something that I think is uh, ha we have to have that yeah and there's an there's some families also you either love it or you hate it and that's cranberry jelly some people love that and some people just hate it so it's either um, um, a have or not have thing in families as well Interesting. Thanksgiving turkey itself, stuffing, uh, bread, the stuffing. Yeah, it's kind of made out of bread and other things put together. Yeah. A lot of seasoning, uh, sage, yeah. Oh, yeah. 然后就是会有很多的香料, 让火鸡的味道更好, 那那个, 呃, 里面呢, 所放的那个面包呢, 味道, 那个火鸡的味道呢, 也会, 那个, 就是, 呃, 更加的, 更加的美味, 那另外一个就是我们书本上没有提到的, 就说, 呃, 美国的家庭可能会有 cranberry jelly, 就是蔓越莓的果冻, 那他有提到, 就说, 也并不是所有人都喜欢了, 
Right. The talk about food, you know, people usually just eat and mm. eat during the holidays, and it's not very healthy. Right. Yeah. And we need tips actually to to prevent us from making the mistake of overeating during the holidays, don't you think? Yeah, we actually have prepared um, some tips for our viewers. Okay. Let's take a look. All right. So the first one, here are some healthy diet tips for holidays. Okay, number one, investigate healthy food options first. You don't need to fill your plate with everything. Pick and choose from the dishes that you really like. 这边的第一点，首先呢，就是看到一大堆美食当前哦，不需要就是我把所有的食物都装到盘子里面去，可以先看一看，就说哎，桌上到底有哪些食物，挑选呢，真正喜欢的菜肴先吃。Option呢是名
Average calories needed per day for men is around 2,500 calories and for women around 1,900. It is wise to watch your caloric intake for the entire day. Um, 呃，这一项呢，指的是如果在某一餐呢，呃，吃的东西比较多，那下一餐呢就吃的简单一点。那以男性来讲呢，一天所需要的呃 calories 是两呃两千五百大卡，那女生呢一千九就足够了。所以可以查看一下一天所要摄取的卡路里，呃，是一个呃比较聪明睿智的做法哦。那 over eat 刚刚就讲过是吃超过量。Lightly 是比较简单的啊，就是所谓，比如说 light meal 就是轻食的意思。Intake 是摄取量。那如果我们讲 food intake 就是食物的呃摄取量。那 entire day 就是 whole day 一整天的意思。We also have other important vocabulary. Barry,、mm -hmm. would you please read the words and the sample sentences for us? Sure. The first one. Aspect. 名词，方面，观点。Parents are responsible for all aspects of their children's education. 父母亲呢，需要对孩子的教育呢，各面向都要负责。Relaxation. 名词，休闲娱乐。Relax. 动词。Many technology companies now offer relaxation programs to help reduce workplace stress and increase employee creativity and productivity. 现在许多科技公司呢，都会增设休闲活动来降低。呃，同仁或是员工的工作压力，提升呢创造力以及生产力。Revolve 动词以什么为中心，或者是绕着什么转。Their arguments often revolve around issues concerning household finance。他们常吵架呢，争执点大多和家里的财务有关。Bind 啊、呃，动词捆绑。The lumberman bound logs together with strong ropes。伐木工呢，用很耐用的绳子把木材捆绑在一起。那动词原形它是 bind， 如果是过去式呢，就用 bound。Indulge。动词沉迷，放纵自己。My weight loss program is strict, but it still allows me to indulge in chocolate once or twice a month. 我的减重计划呢很严苛，但是仍然呢一个月可以呃吃一次到两次的巧克力啊。Involve。动词需要包含。The assistant's job involves working on weekends and working overtime. 这助理的工作呢，需要星期六日上班，并且要加班。Roast. 动词或形容词啊、uh ，烤、烘烤或是烤肉。We sat down to a wonderful dinner of roast beef and mashed potatoes. 我们坐下来享用烤牛肉以及马铃薯泥大餐。Mashed potato. 啊。前面那一句也有呃这个词哦，就是 mashed potato 马铃薯泥 ，eggnog 蛋酒 ，cider 啊、呃、苹果汁 ，prominent 形容词卓越的重要的 ，prominently 呃它的副词。Oprah Winfrey is a prominent talk show host in the entertainment industry. 欧普拉呢在娱乐圈是著名的脱口秀主持人。Overeat 动词吃的过饱。People tend to overeat in all-you-can-eat restaurants. 在吃到饱餐厅呢，一般人都会吃的太多。Revel. 动词或者是名词狂欢、欢宴。After the home team won the soccer game, the fans continued their loud revels long into the night. 呃，地主队赢得足球赛的胜利呢，球迷开心的庆祝到入夜。We're coming to an end, and I'm really, really glad that Barry is here to finish up the program with us. Yes, I'm very happy to be、uh, to have been here with you and shared the time with you. I just want to say everyone out there should be very, very proud of themselves for having the self motivation to continue throughout the semester. Hope you enjoyed the book. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.